Might as well get your initial thoughts on it. Uh, it was, uh, I think we got into the game after 20 minutes. I think the first 20 minutes uh, were well, quite good. Uh, but it, it was always going to be hard for us uh, playing on not a great surface and trying to play out and play our style. And obviously Wellington come here thinking that they're going to press and they're going to cause us some problems. But I think we handled ourselves well and keep trying to do what we're supposed to do and keep them stick to the style, which was good. Um, at the end of the day, uh, we've come in with virtually a lot of young players to play today, and it was uh, great to see that you know with six young boys in the end playing, that we were able to get a very good positive result. One in the cup against a Wellington side that I think was uh, an experienced team, and it was always going to be a tough one. But in the end, we won the game. We played well for periods of time. And uh, we're happy to have given the opportunity to so many young boys to play. And now I think they did very well. So nothing particularly concerning at this point in time? No. no look, as, a, as a player, um, obviously, coming into this game with uh, two of our most experienced players in Eugene and uh, Karuska, uh, it was a tough, tough ask. Obviously, Fabio, who was brilliant for us last season, was injured. And the same for them. But, you know, our preparation, we've obviously played um, Mulliga, which was a very tough encounter. Um, we played against Perth Glory, but they've just finished playing in the cup, you know, and they've had plenty more uh, match fitness than what we have. And today was one of those games, it wasn't the prettiest, but um, it was one of those ones where you had to roll up the sleeves and get stuck in. And I think um, everyone pulled their weight today. Uh, the, young, uh, the older boys uh, pulled the younger boys uh, through the game, and the guys that come in as well. Uh, it was a tough game to come into, and I think they've done, they done well. It was a tip, kind of typical cup game. Everyone was a little bit scrappy and just determined to get the result rather than the performance. What was it like playing in a knockout game for the first time in a little while? Yeah, look, uh, it was in interesting as a player. Um, I remember the pre-season cup in season one of the A-League was was pretty good and obviously didn't continue for too many years after that. But um, no, it, it was good to to obviously um, have this. Um, we haven't played the lower lower teams yet in the State League. So, you know, for us, it's good to get our fitness and obviously try things out there. Um, playing against the A-League team, I think, was great for us. but. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great experience, something new for us, but also uh, teams in the lower, lower leagues, it's a, it's a chance for them to step up and show what they got as well. And um, for us, it's about uh, making sure that we're ready for the start of the season. Obviously, they're in the back end of theirs. So, you know, they're, they're as fit as they can be, and obviously we're just starting out. So, no, look, uh, for us, there's nothing concerning. No one's stressing about anything. So, um, now we've got a few days off, which is uh, always good to recharge your batteries. and. Uh, make sure that we come back ready for the for the final um, final bit of preparation. Make sure we're ready for the season. Michael, what did you make of Paul Izzo's performance, especially in the second half? Yeah, I think he did well in the second half, especially towards the end where we were put under a lot of pressure. I mean, we made a lot of changes and we put a lot of young boys on, and that had a bit of an effect on the game. But in the end, yeah, he pulled off, you know, I think two very good saves, and he did very well. And even uh, him attempting to to play with the style and stick to the style and always trying to play out, he did a very good job, a very good job. So uh, we're very happy with everyone. And even the senior players, I think, today stepped up and they played all like leaders, uh, helping the youngsters along as well. Um, because it, it is, it, there was difficult circumstances in the game. You know, you're missing some very important players in the team and uh, you have to reshape things a little bit around and. We even had to do that with the changes, and the senior boys, I think, uh, stepped up and helped everyone along. Would you, oh, obviously, it's, it would be Joseph's decision, but would you, would you be confident with Paul playing again in the next round? Look, that's uh, Joseph's totally Joseph's decision, uh, but I know that he he's got confidence uh, in every player in the squad, and the whole football department's got confidence in every player, and I think you can see that when. Someone like Bruce Carmoon from the youth team starts off tonight. But uh, at the end of the day, don't forget, we've got probably one of the best goalkeepers in Australia, Eugene Kalikovic. And that's always going to be tough for our younger goalkeepers, but they've got a lot a lot to learn from such a good goalkeeper. So uh, I think Paul Izzo being Paul, he would have loved the fact that he kept the clean sheet tonight. It's another experience for him and it was a valuable experience and uh, he'll take it in a positive way and just continue working because he's, you know, he's a young boy and he's got a huge future ahead of him. So what do you think of the venue? Oh look, um, this is the, 
uh, we played played here in friendly. Um, I didn't play uh, that game, but look, it's uh, obviously the, uh, they've put more seats in and obviously done it up and spending a bit of money. Um, it was a bit bit difficult on the surface, especially the style of football we want to play. It's a bit <coughs> bit bumpy and a bit slippery, but. Um, look, the guys here have been great. They've let us train on it a few times and always uh, making us feel welcome. So it's good that uh, good to see that you know clubs around Adelaide are getting behind us and trying to help us out. So no, look, we can't complain. Um, they they've opened this place uh, with open arms and uh, made us feel like as if we're at home, which we are. But obviously, making it feel like we're all one. And um, you know the the pitch wasn't wasn't great, but obviously, uh, I think they. They re-turfed it uh, not long ago, and it's a bit disappointing that it's, it's gone to that level. But you know, at the end of the day, that's, I'm not a groundsman, but I'm, I'm glad that that game's out of the way and to focus on the next one. Do they have like an NSL sort of feel? Yeah, um, <coughs> on debut against uh, South Melbourne at Bob Jane, there was like people you know standing right up against the fence and all that, so it gave that sort of feel. Um, and now. Our fans, you know, they're, they're pretty loud and um, they were cheering as much as they can tonight and, you know, they braved the cold. It's been been pretty cold here uh, night times, but, no, it felt, felt good, uh, obviously, to get uh, a decent game back at home. Do you like that sort of balance with stadium? Uh, A-League's obviously got the, mm. the crane and then you've got, like, yeah, this sort of stuff as well. Do you like a balance where you're playing with venues like this and maybe getting a high march or... Oh, uh, look... Had, for, for uh, a professional uh, football organisation, you want to be playing on the best. Uh, there's nothing better than, you know, being a, a professional footballer and rocking up and seeing, you know, beautiful green grass. You know, High Marsh, I think, or Cooper Stadium for me is probably one of the best pitches um, as a player that I enjoyed playing <coughs> on. Um, obviously, there's other pitches that are great as well. But um, you know, for us um, playing professionally, playing at obviously Cooper Stadium, they're also doing the seats up again. So hopefully. It's a different atmosphere next season and it makes it feel more homey. I think they're going with red seats all around, so make it feel uh, more support, obviously, with the red uh, wet red jerseys and red seats and make it look like we've got a big turnout and hopefully next season, you know, our members' numbers are great and hopefully we can uh, get a bigger crowd next season and this club can get bigger and bigger every week. If you had a choice, who would you rather face the next round, Adelaide City or Wanderers? Maybe. Oh look, we don't care. Um, whoever wins, obviously, is the better team. So, no, look, uh, good luck to both teams. It's going to be a good hit out. Um, you know, the Wanderers are a, a team that I obviously play with, and uh, two years in a row they made the final. So, then they're no uh, easy beats. So it's going to be an interesting one. But for us, uh, we'll make sure that we go now. Four days, clear our heads, uh, not think too much about football, and make sure that we come back ready.